Zimbabwe's President Emerson Mnangagwa is making his first working visit to South Africa. The Zimbabwean leader is expected to meet with South African President Jacob Zuma in Pretoria on Thursday. The two heads of state will share perspectives on various issues of mutual importance, such as regional, continental and international developments. President Eman Gagwa is expected to address a high-profile business conference at the Zimbabwean Embassy in Pretoria. Since taking office on November the 24th, Eman Gagwa's new administration is striving to revitalize Zimbabwe's economy through attracting investment. Well, for more on that visit, I'm joined from Johannesburg by CGTN's Angelo Coppola. Angelo, this is President Emangagwa's first visit out of Zimbabwe since becoming head of state. How important is this trip to both South Africa and Zimbabwe? Well, Karen, it's really important, especially if you're a Zimbabwean or the Zimbabwean leader. Their economy is essentially in tatters. Uh, in fact, the Zimbabwean um, uh, ambassador, as you said, to South Africa invited Zimbabweans in South Africa and other business people who are interested in investing in Zimbabwe to that uh, very high-profile business session that's going to happen after Manangagwa and Zuma meet uh, for those bilateral conversations. It's set to be addressed by him. Uh, we don't know if that's happened yet. Investment levels, of course, in Zimbabwe are perilously low, and unemployment, on the other hand, is extremely high. So the new Zimbabwean president is trying to ignite that investment in the country. For South Africa, it's also important as the country wants to rebalance the trade relationship with its neighbor. There's also, of course, as you know, a fair number of South African businesses that are active in Zimbabwe at the moment, and it's hoped that the new Zimbabwean leader could provide some direction economically and provide some stability, and the stability that those potential investors would need to go and invest in Zimbabwe. So as you know, there have been some encouraging signs from Manangagwa in terms of mining, in terms of uh, agriculture. So there is some movement and hopefully this will spur those investors to look at Zimbabwe in January and for the rest of the year, Karen. So a very important visit then, Angelo. But he comes in at a time when there are changes at the top leadership of the ruling ANC party. Will this change anything in terms of approach to relations between the two countries? Well, the ANC have always maintained that its policies will remain consistent regardless of who's in charge. That's the theory. We know that Ramaphosa is an old hand in business. He's, he's run many businesses and been on boards of many other businesses. So he has a good grip on how economies and how businesses function in the region and what is needed to stimulate growth, both locally and regionally. So he did make the point yesterday in his maiden speech to the ANC uh, that the party will focus more on action and less on talking. This could also include, of course, this regional economic policy that he might be looking to reignite. More interestingly, though, is speculation that Ramaphosa may also sit in on that meeting between the two heads of state. Zuma, of course, is still de facto president of the country, but it's been suggested that Ramaphosa may get more and more involved in the day-to-day -day running of the uh, country and the ANC in the build-up to those elections in more than well, 18 months or so, or when he becomes president of the country. Karen? Okay, Angelo Capola there, thank you very much for that update.